I'm Yasmin Anen with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. The Royal Court announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will receive Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, who will arrive in Bahrain tomorrow, Thursday, on a brotherly visit during which they will hold talks on the deep rooted relations in addition to Arab and international developments. The Royal Court seizes this opportunity to welcome the country's guest and his delegation, wishing him a good stay in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held today his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. He welcomed a broad range of visitors including members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Council of Representatives and Shura Council, members of municipal councils, prominent religious figures, academics, community leaders, journalists and diplomats. The attendees expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness' keen engagement with citizens by maintaining the commitment to Bahrain's values, traditions and national identity. They also commended his efforts in reinforcing the sustainable development of Bahrain under the development program initiated by His Majesty the King, as well as the government's efforts that deliver significant improvement to public services.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met Archbishop Atalahana of Sebastia from the Greek Orthodox Patriarch of Jerusalem at Rufa Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed the Archbishop to Bahrain and emphasized that the kingdom is committed to the principles of tolerance, coexistence, mutual respect and religious freedom. He emphasized that Bahrain, as home to many religious communities, maintains its long-standing support to fostering religious and cultural tolerance. He stressed that the principles of coexistence and mutual respect are fundamental components of any society, adding that Bahrain's own diverse and tolerant community has overcome many obstacles and continues to flourish under His Majesty the King's program of reform and development. His Royal Highness noted that Bahrain remains deeply concerned about the ongoing Palestinian-Israeli conflict and in particular the recent escalation of violence which undermines efforts to achieving last peace. He thanked the Archbishop for his visits and for his continuous participation in dialogue which seeks to promote religious and cultural coexistence. And the Archbishop expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and expressed his appreciation for the Kingdom's continued support for Palestine and its people. He also highlighted Bahrain's role in promoting religious tolerance and coexistence in the region. The Royal Guard Commander, Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized today the closing ceremony of the Joint Drill Hamad Hoax 3, the Parachute Jump 4, and the Free Parachute Jump 5 held at the Endurance Village by the Royal Guard with the participation of a group of British troops. Held between last August 30th and October 30th, the session included parachute jumps, free parachute jumps and landing rope. It is part of the BDF's training plans to prepare highly qualified and rehabilitated national competencies in various weaponries. A number of Royal Guard affiliates participated in the training session and after a recital from the Holy Quran, a briefing on the stages of the training as well as their theoretical and practical aspects was presented. The Royal Guard commander then distributed appreciation certificates and awarded the top achievers and trainers, expressing great admiration for their outstanding performance and wishing them further success. He loaded the outstanding and long-standing friendship relations between Bahrain and the UK, praising their cooperation, especially on the exchange of expertise and cooperation in the military field. Royal Guard Special Force Commander Major Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, senior BDF officers and former UK Chief of Defence Staff General Sir David Richards attended the graduation ceremony. The Minister of Royal Court, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, attended this evening the 8th annual ceremony of Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa Medical Research Prize. It was organized by King Hamad University Hospital in the presence of the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Commander of the Hamad University Hospital and President of the Bahrain Journal of Medicine, Major General Dr. Sheikh Salman bin Atiyatullah Al Khalifa, Professor Norman Delaney, and Senior Health officials from Bahrain and regional states. The President of the Supreme Council of Health welcomed the Minister of the Royal Court, patron of the event, saying that Bahrain is witnessing a boom in medical training systems by applying Saudi board systems as well as the Arab board and the application of continuing medical education systems for doctors and nurses in agreement with the National Commission for the Organization of Medical Services. For his part, the commander of Hamad University Hospital underlined the efforts of the winners, indicating that there will be no progress in medicine without medical research. Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah and the commander of Hamad Hospital distributed certificates and prizes to the 10 winners.